personal identity would be really challenging if you actually had one, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, I'd just relax, actually, would probably be my suggestion. Just relax and allow yourself to be exactly as you are. And when you relax and you just stop describing everything that's going on, what you discover is that there is something about you that is bright, alert, naturally present and indivisible from everything that you're experiencing. There's this intelligence that is looking through your eyes right now, is sensing everything you're sensing, hearing everything you're hearing, feeling everything you're feeling. And this ground of being is so rich, it's so full of everything. There's so much energy there, so much power there. And when we relax and allow ourselves to be exactly as we are, we align with the actual nature of this power and this energy. And that nature is pure benefit. So simply taking short moments of relaxing the describing and allowing ourselves to be spontaneous reality means that our expression of that spontaneous reality naturally becomes more and more aligned with its actual nature as pure benefit. Now this desire to be of benefit is absolutely innate. That's all we've ever wanted. We've only ever wanted the best for ourselves and we've only ever wanted the best for anyone else. And what was so frustrating for me was not knowing how to follow through on that intention. Always wanting to speak nicely, always wanting to have harmonious relationships, always wanting to be comfortable with myself, always wanting to know what, what, what I should be doing with this incredible life. And the way that I'd been taught to use my mind, to focus in on all of these descriptions, just led to a life of real tension and confusion, where I didn't know the answers to any of those questions. I didn't know how to act, I didn't know how to relate. I knew that there was something missing. I knew that it was possible. Even if it was just some kind of vague undefined idea. I knew that I should be able to relate with complete openness in all circumstances. I knew that I should be able to feel comfortable with myself, with whatever was going on. There was something deep down within me that knew that that was a, a, a possibility. And then what was incredible was when I first came to the Balanced View training was to meet people that I recognized were living this as an everyday experience absolutely comfortable with themselves, expressing incredible beneficial qualities in the way that they spoke, in the way that they sat, in the way that they laughed, in everything that they did. And this sparked something in me. This sparked a, a, a deep curiosity. Because I, I wanted to know, well, what is it? What have they got? And I, I could recognize it. There was something in me that, that resonated deeply. And, and when I heard Candice speak, the, the word struck me on, on such a deep fundamental level that it, it was just obvious that this is actually the truth that I've been looking for. It was just completely obvious to me. And yet there seemed to be so much in the way. There seemed to be this personal identity that, you know, I'd read all these books about, I'd try to work out that, um, what do I do with it? What is it? How do I get rid of this thing called the ego? And all of these confusing ideas and the more I looked into them the, the more confused I became and the more work it seemed that I had to do before I could reach this destination that now was more than a possibility I knew it was a I knew it was a reality at least for some people but there just seemed to be so much to do so much baggage I was carrying around all these memories of who who I, who I was and what I'd done and and so what I did was I just decided to show up to the Balanced View training and, and see what would happen because I, I really was curious, I was intrigued. You know, this was, um, I'd never met 
any organization that um, I didn't want to run away from immediately. And I had all of that same sensation with Balanced View. And yet, I was also magnetized. There was something here that fascinated me. So, so I kept showing up and what happened was amazing, was that just by hearing the nature of reality spoken about in very clear, direct ways, this instinctive recognition was enlivened within me. It was just hearing the truth spoken just very clearly, very plainly, in language that I could understand, just illuminated that reality for me. And, and the reason for that is because that is the nature of reality. Everything is already completely wide open. Everything is already aligned with benefit. I just needed to relax and simply allow that nature of reality to become more obvious. All of the descriptions, all of the work that I thought I had to do were nothing other than also part of this grand display of perfect benefit. I didn't need to do anything with any of them. I could simply relax and allow those to self-release effortlessly too. So this simple instruction of taking short moments of just relaxing and allowing everything to be exactly as it is, in all circumstances, whenever I naturally remembered, was so potent. Everything opened out, everything. But it was a... Uh, the analogy that we use sometimes is of the fan, of the ceiling fan, and when you turn off the, the power, that the fan just has a little momentum and it takes a while to stop turning. And the habitual way that I'd been used to using my mind was to, be, was to jump on the descriptions, to, to jump on the idea of this decision that I've got to make now, and to describe it, and to make something out of it, and to try and work out the different possible outcomes, and. And so it took a little while just for me to see that I, I could relax completely there. That all decisions and all of the ideas around them, all of the feelings, the hopes and the fears, were just also part of this grand display of perfect benefit and I could relax with those too. So this simple process of just relaxing mind and body revealed this incredible world of just unending riches each moment rich with beneficial potency, with nothing left out. And so I saw that by showing up and by participating, beginning to take short moments, coming to open meetings, I started to listen to talks from the website, and there, there are hundreds and hundreds of hours of free talks. If things began to change for me without me needing to do anything. So it was this effortless, effortless relaxing into reality effortlessly relaxing as this display of spontaneous benefit. So my speech began to change. Um, my speech that um, had been very um, critical, judgmental, um, very cutting, very harsh, began to soften and change. And that applied that to my speech um, with other people and to other people, but also to the, my internal dialogue. This very harsh, very critical, very judgmental dialogue, dialogue I had with myself. This ongoing critique of, of basically how crap I was and how bad I was at everything. And it just softened out as I had this perspective of open intelligence shining forth all of this data. So everything I could experience, I could just now simply call data. I didn't have to get into these complicated descriptions about what everything meant or what the implications were that I suddenly had this huge rush of fear about money. I could relax right there too. And everything opened out there. So from this very simple instruction, and short moments repeated many times, what you discover is the actual treasure of reality itself. Everything is included within this grand spread of perfect benefit. Everything is this crazy display, this incredible beneficial smorgasbord <laughs> of benefit. Everything. 
And I began to see that in a few things, with a few data streams, with a few sensations, with some thoughts. And so I continued on with the practice of short moments, because this was incredible what it was revealing to me. And then as I began to participate in the rest of the mainstays, so we have the practice of short moments, we have written trainings and the trainings, uh, training media online, which are so powerful. They're, they're so powerful. Every single training that I participate in, it's just, um, it just makes my heart sing. It's complete delight, total empowerment, complete clarification, this unerring recognition of the nature of reality. Then we have the trainer, somebody who is there, who has dedicated their life to supporting and empowering us, sharing their direct experience of their recognition of open intelligence and its beneficial potency in all circumstances. You know, this ultimate friend, just incredible to have that kind of support. And then there's the worldwide community to see that there are people all around the world who are making this change, who are living as spontaneous beneficial potency. And to be with other people and to see the way that other people are able to do this just gave me such inspiration. You know, it was seeing that if other people can do this, then why can't I? You know, that, that, that person over there, they don't seem so different from me. They're able to relax with this really intense situation and to step up as beneficial potency. Maybe that's something I can do. And so there's this totally comprehensive support network that does nothing other than empower you to be spontaneous beneficial potency in all circumstances. And everything aligns naturally with this beneficial reality then. So, like I said, the speech changes, but also the, in a very effortless way, the, the, the way that you stand, your body language, the, the thoughts you have, the feelings you have, more and more you recognize that everything is aligned with reality, aligned with pure benefit. But it's not something that you need to think about or work out. It has to be spontaneous. And the only way it can be spontaneous is if you are just completely relaxed, one short moment at a time. This is how we train this up. We participate in the Four Mainstays. We participate in, the, uh, in our own evolution, the evolution of our consciousness, both individual and collectively. Bringing about this incredible change in the world. And when you spend time with the community, you, you see the implications for what that means for us as a society. You, know, you see the way that we can work together. You know, and we have so much fun, but we get so much done. And there's this culture of just deep respect and gratitude and just appreciation for everyone. For me, it was this shift away from this fantasy world of a a self-identity that I had to focus on and manage somehow, even though it was always completely unmanageable. That's what I was trying to do. And, and when that opens up, there is only appreciation for everything and everyone. Even the negative data, even the challenging circumstances, sometimes those are the ones that um, empower the deepest recognition of open intelligence. Because you see, you have nowhere else to turn. And when you do turn to open intelligence and the rest of the mainstays, the challenging situations become full of such potent energy. You find yourself stepping up in ways that um, I know for myself would have been previously unimaginable. Just like this solid or stable mountain of just pure gold, where regardless of what's going on, you know where to go, you know that you are open intelligence and you can express that beneficial potency regardless of the data. And we can train this up. This is not some kind of vague thing that if you're lucky someone will come down and bless you with or it depends on somebody's grace. You can participate in this, you can train up this beneficial potency. That's what the Four Mainstays actually are this framework for training up your capacity to be of great benefit in a very practical way, not in some abstract way, but in direct relationship with many, many other people from around the world. Cultivating the relationship with the trainer to ensure that there are no hideouts in data, to really bring this 
pure gold to all circumstances and all data streams and all relationships, that this is what we're capable of. This is actually who we are. So we just settle into this effortlessly. No need to try and get somewhere, just relax completely right there. That's where you'll find what you're looking for. That's where you'll find your wisdom, your capacity to respond, your solutions, knowing what decision to make, being happy not knowing what decision to make, all of that in complete relaxation. So keep it simple, that simple, that simple approach is the potent approach. One short moment at a time. So simple, so easy.